we're dividing these two rational expressions together. And when we're dividing to these two with rational expressions, we're going to follow the same rules that we do with normal fractions. In a normal fraction here, when you're, when you're taking one fraction divided by another, we change this sign and flip these two around. So we're going to do that same thing here with these rational expressions. I'm going to keep this one the same, I'm going to change the sign to multiplication, and I'm going to flip these two around. We do the reflipper, we multiply by the reciprocal, excuse me. So what was on the bottom now is on top, what was on top now comes on bottom. Okay, so that part we've done before. Now, what I, the next step is we're going to need to factor these. Get these uh, factored to the very lowest, that way we can see if we can cross some stuff off on top and bottom. So m squared plus m minus 12. I need two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 12, but add together to give me 1. That's going to be a positive 4 and a negative 3. So I'm going to rewrite this one, the exact same thing that I've got up here. I'm going to rewrite it down here. The difference is I just factored this one as all. Now we also need to factor what's on bottom here. Well, on bottom, I've got two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 16, but add together to give me 0. My b value here is 0. That's going to be a positive 4 and a negative 4. So I've got m minus 4 times m plus 4. Also right here I can factor these. Uh, it looks like I've got a 2 that I can pull out here. If I pull out a 2, it's going to leave me with an m minus 3 in parentheses here. So that's the big thing. We've got to change this to multiplication and flip those two around. Then we've got to kind of factor everything that we've got here. Now that we've done that, this is just multiplication. So I'm going to multiply what's on top here, this numerator, these two numerators, by, uh, and then on the bottom, the denominators, we're going to multiply those two portions as well. So that's all I really did. I just kind of mushed everything together, if you will. It's all over one, so it's all over one fraction here. Now I go through this and I see what I can cross off on top and bottom. Well, I see I've got a two on top and bottom, so I can cross off both of those. I also see, let's see, I've got an m minus three, yes, I've got an m plus four on top and bottom. I can cross those off. Normally we can't cross the off because of the addition sign. However, if we're crossing off the entire quantity, then we're okay to do that. And then, of course, I've got an m minus 3 on top and bottom. So basically, I've reduced everything except for this m minus 4. I've got an m minus 4 on bottom. And this entire numerator portion, the portion on top, is also multiplied by 1. So our answer is always going to be a 1 at least on top divided by m minus 4 in this case. This is our final answer.